Hi guys, it's Adria. Welcome back. Hello. I'm not dead. Good to see you. How you doing? Today I have a cup of tea because I am fighting a sickness. Last night I had 101 fever and I was freezing cold. How are you doing? But I wanted to film today. That water is not that hot. Maybe you saw on my Twitter how I posted that I was going to be taking a break to get my health on track. It seems as though for the past month my depression has been like here I am, hello. I've been really frustrated with it and you may think this video is gonna be all sad and whatnot, but I actually want this to be a good video, a positive video, make this a fresh start, a new beginning, like this is, like this is it. This is the end of like my negative thinking, being so hard on myself, because lately I've noticed how hard I am on myself truly. And I think to a degree it can be helpful to be like, oh, I should work on this a bit and like, uh, I could do better at this. You know, that is good, but if you're constantly just kicking yourself and being like, well, you just suck, that's not really good. <clears throat> and I remember I had this like motivational DVD back in the day and it told me that on average people have, I wanna say it was like 8,000. I feel like that's wrong though. We have a lot of negative thoughts during the day and you may not notice, kinda of just think negative things without really thinking about it and it just becomes part of your daily routine. I think that's what I was doing to myself, especially about YouTube. I suck at YouTube. I'm not good at it. I'll never get anywhere. Everything keeps going downhill with YouTube. What's the point of trying? It's so weird because I noticed that it was just for my channel because I was helping Brandon really start his and I was editing videos for him and like I had so much fun doing that and I'm like why don't I feel inspired to edit my own videos you know what I mean I'm like why why is this happening I guess I was just in this funk of thinking that I just kind of suck I'm not funny enough I'm not hot enough Adria you have nothing to offer I've literally gotten comments like nothing to see here like you're not even hot like get out of here you're boring, especially when you're in a funk. That just kind of feeds the beast a bit where I'm like, yeah, you know what? They clearly see what I see, so I probably just suck. I'm like trying to get through the negativity and like push through it. Like I know that that's not true. So like if somebody says something rude, I'm just like, well, I know that that's not true. I would come up with like all these video ideas and then I'm like, oh, people don't want to see that. People don't care about that. That'll get no views and this and this and that. And it's, it's so dumb. And I've seen all these videos lately, like YouTube doesn't care about this group of people. And it's like, yeah, maybe it doesn't. You know, YouTube only cares about you if you have like 15 million subscribers. That's probably kind of accurate. That doesn't mean that I don't care about the people that watch me and what I'm doing and that I like doing this. And <laughs> something else that kind of, I don't know, kind of contributed to my what kind of mood was, well, you don't have social anxiety because you put videos on YouTube. I will never use the phone in my life. I will never talk to people. I know what the truth is and it doesn't really matter, I guess, if other people know it or not. But it's so frustrating when something is so prominent in your life and affects pretty much every aspect of your life. And someone's like, well, you don't have that. And I'm just like, Okay, I need to stop letting people get in my head and I need to get out of my I need to stop letting people get in my head and I need to get out of my own head And I need to just do what I want to do if people like it. It doesn't really matter like Recently, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should do like Sims videos. I don't know cuz I really love playing the Sims Maybe that could be fun, but then I'm like, oh, maybe that'll only get like five views because like literally Maybe nobody gives a damn about the Sims that's subscribed to me, but then I'm like, you know what? I need to just do what I like. And my channel gets like no views. That's like... <laughs> okay, I'll just be like super real with you guys right now. Rejection. The rejection all of the rejection. I had a sponsorship reach out to me and I was like, oh, okay, here's my rate. And because they asked and there was no reply for like a week. I'm like, oh no. And they even offered like a certain value of their product. They're like, oh, we'll give you this amount of our products for free and then just tell us your rate, right? So I tell them that and they're like, oh, well, because of your channel views, um, we're only gonna offer you this, like one fifth of your rate and we change our mind about what we're offering you. We're only offering you like half of what we offered you before. I'm just like, 
what? So, um, that's frustrating. <laughs> like, forever reminding me that my channel is, like, dead. This tea is very underwhelming. But yeah, you know what? This isn't even a pity party. This is like, I'm sick of being defeated. I'm sick of sitting and wallowing and being sad and doubting myself all the time. I'm like, you know what? Because I believe if you really work hard at anything, you can get to where you want to be. Maybe if it's not meant to be, it won't happen. Maybe, you know, there's a reason stuff doesn't work out. I also believe in that. I'm just trying to believe in God's timing and what is meant to happen for me because clearly I'm where I'm meant to be. Maybe this is a humbling life experience, I don't know. I guess it's just frustrating when you feel like you've put so much work into something and it's just kind of declining. It doesn't have to be all that stinky. I'm kind of just happy to be talking to you guys because it's been a little bit since I've sat down and filmed and I really do feel just at home when I just sit down in front of my camera and just do whatever I want to do. Gosh, this video is all over the place. I don't know. But I guess I just want to say that I'm sorry to you guys for being kind of distant and absent and not posting as much. I used to post three times a week and now I post like maybe once a week and I'm like, this is so not me and I just want to get back to being myself. And I look back at some of my sort of older-ish videos and I'm like, I just, I would film like almost every day and and be editing every day and I just was so passionate and I feel like I've lost that a little bit and that makes me sad because I don't want to lose my passion for this and I know it's still in there I'm just slightly defeated but yeah I guess I just need to get back into a good groove a good routine and I guess just refine my passion for this you guys are just a constant reminder of why I do this and I just want to thank all of my people on patreon for supporting me still because that is a huge help. You know, that really helps me to continue doing this. I'm stuttering. And it's like you try not to care so much about views, but views equal rent. It's so hard and it's hard to talk about it because it seems like when you're like, oh, my views are down, people are like, well, that's all you care about then. It's hard not to. And especially when I had my other job and this was just kind of like my hobby, the views didn't matter as much where now it's like, if I don't get views, I'm going to be broke. That's basically how it is. But, and I'm like, yeah. So eh. my goal now is to just get back to where I was. I don't even have to be the best. I don't even have to really improve you know, views or subscribers or anything. I just want to stay true to myself and stay true to the person that you guys subscribe to and just be myself. And, you know, I want to do videos about, like, puberty advice because I love talking about that. I love helping young people because I was so uncomfortable as a young person. Fun makeup videos. I have a fun makeup video in mind that I'm going to be doing soon that I'm really excited about. I just, I want to just dive into this, you know, just head first, just go and just be all about YouTube again because I feel like I've kind of gotten into a funk where it's like, I don't even really want to watch YouTube. I don't want to talk about YouTube. I don't want to film. I don't want to go on Twitter. Like I kind of just disconnected from all of it. I hate it. I don't like that. It's the little depression monster in the back of my head telling me that I suck and that I should just give up and nobody cares about me when I know that that's not true. I want to like ruin something before something can ruin me. Does that make sense? So it's like, I have to step away from my channel before my channel dies and everyone unsubscribes and all that. So like, I have to be the one to walk away first. Does that make sense? But I don't want to be that, okay? I want to just have fun. Yeah, if you have anything you would like to see me do, please leave your input down below because I would like to know, should I do Sims videos? I'm probably gonna do that. How I felt about Brandon's channel and helping him with that is how I want to feel about my channel. Like, like I'm just gonna do what I want. If I think this is a good idea, I'm just gonna do it. Whether I think people will watch it or not. Here's another thing about YouTube is like, the only things that seem to get views now on YouTube is drama, um, if your life like goes to turmoil, if you're like dying or something, videos where you're crying, videos of like you making an absolute fool out of yourself on purpose. So that seems to be like it. Or if you have your boobs out. And that's another thing is like people are like, um, well, you're not sexy on your Instagram. And I'm just like, you know what? Like I honestly, like that's not me. I don't really care. I don't really want to 
be in a thong on Instagram. That's okay. Literally not my cup of tea. I'm just gonna be myself. Yeah, I'm not a sexy person at all. So that's cool. That's kind of my brand. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like down below. Leave a dislike. <laughs> I don't know. Do something. I'm gonna get back into filming and I want to get back into being like so into this. I want to get back into a video schedule, but I think for now I'll try to post Monday and Friday. I think that'll be my goal for now, and then maybe try to get Wednesday in there. Work on yourself. That's all you can do. Just improve a little bit every day. Uh, maybe I'll do a video about um, advice for getting through depression and things like that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great weekend. I will see you hopefully on Monday with a video that I've already almost finished editing. All right, love you guys. Panda hugs, I love you guys. Bye! I'm gonna stop being negative, stop being negative. 2018 is the year of positivity. Oh.